<laughs> We're here now. My bad. I'm sorry. I, I abandoned you. Anyway, it's Mopax here. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mopax and also trying to be in Dota TV. Uh, now I feel really bad. So, you guys probably aren't tuning in now, but if you do, hey there. Uh, this mid matchup, we'll get the last hits going here. Mason is ever so slightly ahead with one deny. <laughs> Just too good. I don't know how this matchup is going to go with the Undying and the Clockwork. Uh, I feel like he hit the nice lead by getting that Banu rune, which I think is actually pretty big. Uh, the Cogs and everything, maybe if he mana burns him enough, and it looks like he might have been doing that. I don't know if that's warrants a max Cogs build. I don't usually see Bubba go for that. It's more of a Grand Grand build. Trout taking a lot of damage here, but he's able to be back away alive. He wants one more Hex, but it's only going to be on FRL, and FRL is so close, he might be able to get this kill. There's the Arcane Bolt, he's chasing him down, Trout, nice cut, but it's not going to be enough, FRL smells him out. He's going to be doing the loop. <laughs> he still has the Arcane Bolt when he needs it, and there he goes. So, there goes Trout. Meanwhile, RTZ's diving exists under the tower, but the wand, or the stick rather, I suppose, will keep him alive. So, nicely played there. And bottle about to come out here for Mason. Susie as well already has his and 500 gold, so he's feeling much better. And this is he going for the max cogs? He's not. So, but really keep him down. Juice actually coming up with two mangoes, so he'll have 1.3 or uh, he'll have 3.2 HP regen. I was gonna say, ah, oh, Jesus. Looks like Exist decided to not go home, which is an interesting decision. And I assume that was a wow. Crit doesn't even have the glimpse, and they'll still manage to pick up that kill. Well, what can you do? And uh, Artisi, some more harass here. This is the problem with Slag 4 level 6. He is rather squishy. He's got one tango. And he's actually holding on to his uh, potential for his Ring of Aquila here, so maybe he'll look to pick up that Sage's Mask. Something is flying out. Uh, actually, he's just perched up at home. Spear Lance as well. You had that, didn't you? This seems like a, a really good lane for Queen of Pain. She is a bit ahead here. Uh, you can see Susie's positioning here, trying to make sure he doesn't get Shadow Strikes. Really good. Man, this is an aggressive lane. There's the Ancient Seal, and it's going to burst that magic damage. Um, just boosts it right up so that Arteezy gets blown up. This is nice, man. Fun can just keep this lane going. I don't know. I think he has a Shocker. He needs a Shocker somebody right now because it's on cooldown. It's unacceptable. Fun, please. Fun, please. You're killing me here, man. Is he trying to soak? He wants to soak to level 3 before he uses it. That is pretty impressive, actually. Oh, and he's one creep away. Meanwhile, Susie's gonna run right into Trout, but he actually has an Invis room. But if there's one here, then Invis room won't help you get Zeus. Oh, he needs it. He's too fast, though. And he will survive. Now, Arteezy gets the pounce right onto FRL. Now, FRL puts the Ancient Seal on him. There's gonna be the boost on the magic damage. Can they blow up Arteezy? No, he will get the kill and get out. FRL, please. And <laughs> a line is being drawn from Trout saying, Go bot. Please, Mason. <laughs> uh, he'll need a TP scroll delivered out here for when he hits 6. And he's actually not going to get one. Um, I was expecting one for when they dive, but... Looks like Mason is happy to just fire him up in the mid lane. I also... Mangoes are an interesting item. Um, I feel like there's certain heroes they're really good on. I like them on Mangus. Or Magnus? <laughs> Mangus. <laughs> the Mango. Uh, yeah, I like the Mangos uh, when you're playing something like a Magnus or other strength heroes. Even Earthshaker, I think it's really good um, if you're a core Earthshaker. I don't know. It's a lot of money, I understand, but for that last, uh, Fisher can be very good. And I mean, that that was just waiting to happen. Once Mason hits 6, that he just goes in for the scream. The Shadow Strike can just whittle down the Zeus to the point where that if he stays at half HP, he just dies. So, a rough lane there for Susie. Bulba, he's up to level 6 now, and he's a TP scroll ready. So, if any sort of engagement happens, and he's also going for the Tranquil Boots build. This is something that I've seen a lot of Ix Mike, um... And uh, although I haven't seen it really transition into the competitive scene, I see it a lot in FPL between different clockworks, and I think it's very good. The way that you can run down enemy heroes using it, it's just incredible the speed you get. And Artisi, chasing on to exist. Now the doppelganger's ready, and he'll pop it when he needs it. And, yeah, he'll just hop right out of that leash. What a hero. Now <laughs> he's going to turn for the Spirit Lance. Artisi's not going to be happy about this. Uh, oh, Bubba's here with the hook as well. Oh, nice! The Hex from Trouf! It's going to stop any of the cogs. Actually, he's out of mana anyway, but he has the sticks if he needs it. He might pop the battery salt. No, they're not going to dive this. Crit's on the side, but he'll just TP home. And Susie really wishing he was level 6 for that engagement. They might have been able to pick off Arteezy. 
160 HP. I wonder if he'll go for this. I don't think it would be a kill. Yeah, he's up to 170 now anyway. It would be close. And there are your Tranquils for your Clockwork. Wow! Actually picks up the line. So, Trough. Oh, nice combination there, actually. So the Flare just spotting out that he was really weak. Now they're going to be diving on Mason. He'll just blink back. FRL not able to get the Ancient Seal. Oh, it looks like he got it off and then he got back. So we were checking out that kill bottom. This is just what Juice wants. Uh, he's left all alone up here. Get himself some levels. He's up to level 7, actually. Uh, not going... Is he just holding... Yeah, he's just holding the skill points. So uh, he'll get the Tombstone and he will put it into the Flesh Golem. Really good for brawling games um, when you're going to get all grouping up. And Arteezy desperately trying to hit 6 down here. Needs that Shadow Dance. Keep himself active in the lane. And it looks like they're actually going to back here. Um, Exist has gone up to the top lane. Found some free farm. Uh, and he's with Bulb as well. So they have the Spirit Lance if they want to finish off Juice. And oh man, that Decay keeping up. Can they? They need to blow up this Tombstone fast. Exist. Oh, you can't run from this. You can't run. You cannot run from this. You need to fight the Tombstone. I don't know if they would have gotten that anyway. Man, that thing is insane at level 4. Like, that's just two heroes trying to fight a, like an, an object, and they can't kill it. What a hero. Level 2 glimpses here. So, looks like Crick could look to make something happen here on little Susie. Susie Q, the blast is going to come through. It's not going to catch Mason, though. And Trout comes in behind with the Earth Spike. Fun so low, he's going to die. In comes FRL, he gets a slow on to Trout, and the silence. So, oh, the glimpse will be enough to last right click. Oh, the Zeus ultimate's not going to matter, and the Arc Lightning to finish him off. FRL gets a free trip back bottom. Thank you very much. And he might even be able to harass Arteezy. Oh, but look what he's got. Oh, the flare. There's no hook shot, though. Not for nine more seconds. Arteezy just juking as much as he can. And uh, he'll get uh, a couple more. It looks like the Wraith Band just got delivered. Susie, Invisor, coming in behind. Very sneaky. Big engagement here. Bubbles got the hookshot ready. He gets hexed up. We'll zoom back in here. There's a slow. Oh, Trout just dropping instantly. Arteezy solo. Bubba gets the cogs off, but he's stuck inside. He didn't get the pushback that I think he wanted. He won't be able to follow up in time. The Caudal Blast will actually destroy him. Crit goes down as well to Susie. And that's a three for one. Bob will be happy about that for his team, at least. And it looks like an early mech. There is a casual cloak here. I'm not sure what juice is going to go for. I suppose it could be the pipe. Um, that that is always a possibility. I'm not sure. I guess it is. Oh, okay, yeah, they are like all match games. It's definitely just going to be a pipe. Yeah, we'll just go right into that. Mason, farming up the mid lane. Uh, this definitely looks like an orky game to me, I would have to say. But, um, we'll see what he does decide to go for. Uh, we've seen a lot of just Ags Rush. It could be an Ags Rush, too. I don't think it's bad. The entire dire side is very squishy. TZ pops the Dark Pact a little bit early. <laughs> it doesn't actually get the damage put up onto anything. <laughs> You're right, I agree. It should just, like, convert the horses into, like, full-out transfer trucks. And yeah, Arteezy's actually heading back in up here. All that regen. It's trying to man up against Exist. Exist does have the Doppelwalk, though. Oh, Doppelganger. Is that what it's called now? Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be the point booster. So it's going to be the Axe Rush here for Mason. Or at least a casual point booster for now. Uh, Trout trying to get up to his triangles. It looks like they're actually going to go back in here on the rune. Arteezy pounces in on the Susie. The Sonic Wave will clean up Susie himself and the pushback on Arteezy is not enough damage. They're actually going to glimpse out Bulba to save Mason from the battery salt. Very nicely played. Arteezy stuck on the cliff. Ten more seconds until he can pounce. Oh, Mason coming in so deep. Oh, he's going to die for it. A little too close. Um, probably need to space that a little bit better. FRL's going to come in. Gets off a nice ultimate there on the crit. Arteezy comes off the cliff. Probably a little surprising to FRL, but he won't be able to do anything. No more mana. Another easy kill. And a, a two for two trade in the end. Wow, is that max? This is interesting. We usually see the points put into Chakra over the Illuminate, but uh, with with Fun being down here by himself, maybe he's thinking he can get more done by blasting out these waves. Trout must be buying wards or something because he's still not up to his Tranquil Boots. And if we actually check out the vision here, uh, it looks like the rating have a couple of nice wards here and here. And if we go over to the Dire Side vision, They've also got a nice ward there and there, so pretty even in terms of the full vision. 
And a smoke now picked up from fun, so they'll be looking to make some action happen in the jungle. As bubble TP's down, so they're gonna back and smoke. Uh, looks like they're gonna bring F4L over as well. That's pretty nice, and then he can shocker him up too in a minute. Pretty good combo. And they, okay, here comes that smoke. Looks like it was fed off to Bulba as uh, Fun hands it over, and it's gonna get popped here. So he's gonna find Arteezy. He's very low, not wanting to deal with him. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's so low. This hook shot. Oh, the, the creep's in the way. There's the vision. Can he get it? The jukes. Oh, nice lightning. Nice, easy pick off. Good scouting there by Susie to get that kill. And looks like Juice is actually going to go back for the mech. So not going to go for that pipe. Just deciding that the AoE heal will be good for the early game and maybe transition to a pipe later. Or just possibly a Glimmer Cave. However, there is a lot of magic damage. I think a pipe is warranted. Bubba hates it up here. He's going to get Mason. Mason, one more second to the blink. He has leveled it up. So he... Whoa, the Ancient Seal though from F4L. It's going to be preventing it. It's so close. He's going to die. Crit is here. He has a Static Storm. He's going to pop it onto Bulba. Juice is going to pop the Flesh Golem. And Bulba will go down. Tombstone as well slowing off. Exist is going to come in. Very risky play here. Uh, only has the treads, but he's going to be able to clean up crit, it looks like, despite being fighting the Tombstone. Artis is going to come in. Gets the pounce. It doesn't latch. Exist. He is just going to TP home. Pretty good choice there. And F4L will make an escape. This is not your standard FRL uh, Skywrath Mage. I always see like four Nulls, even when he's support. I'm a little surprised. What's up with that? Also, I don't think Huskar was banned at this draft. Now that I think about it, which is really strange, um, considering the team they're up against. That might have been a good Huskar game. Especially, I mean, they have been picking a ton of Huskar in FPL. I don't know if it's just like mind banned. Like, is it like respect? Like, please don't pick Huskar. Because there was a point where it was literally getting first banned because it was so annoying. Uh, perhaps I just missed it in the draft and it was banned. And looks like they're gonna try to make smash to happen bottom. Crit's down here now. 30 more seconds of the static storm. We have four dire heroes though. And uh, the radiant side, as you can see, have absolutely no idea. So we'll, we'll switch over to Trials Vision here. And uh, the whole radiant team, we'll see what they're thinking right now. They are, they should be very scared. Dire doing a very good job with their movements, and we'll see how they react to the vision. There's Susie. We need to saw where it came from, but they don't. They have no idea what's going on, and suddenly they're all here, and it is a disaster. Crit goes down. Looks like they're going to let Trav escape off to the side. They want Mason. They won't be able to find him, though. It's actually only one pickoff. That looks like it could have been worse. And Exist will push in the top. Uh, when would you say it's better to get treads or bots on PL? I think you get treads now always on this hero. Um, I don't think the hero can fight early. I think you still get bots later, uh, honestly, but there's a lot of talk. Like, in a game like this, the PL needs to fight because there's an Undying and a Slark and a Queen of Pain, and, and they're always going to be coming after him, and I think you need the treads to survive. And it looks like there's also going to be a hookshot. Oh, not even a hookshot. It looks like they're going on to Bulba, <laughs> and Bulba will drop here. Um, I, just, I think treads are needed now, honestly. I think they increased the farm enough that it's worth it. Um, bots are really great, but with the item builds that you want to go for, for things like Diffusal Blade and stuff, then the survivability of Treads really can't be understated. Exist, he's going to topple walk into the trees, and now they know where he is, and yeah, they're going to catch him out. That was pretty obvious. There's a Sonic Wave available if they really need it, but he should be okay. And they'll just burst him right down. He actually gets the kill on Arteezy. Arteezy, not exactly a Slark player. <laughs> he's going to go down there. Dark packs himself to death. This is just another classic. I'm sure we won anyway. <laughs> uh, but I agree. Eventually, you do need the bots. So um, I think the traps, uh, the uh, treads, are just kind of a midway point. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're the one PMing me. You lost fuck face. <laughs> I see players do this all the time. They're always like messaging each other in the middle of games. Oh, my team's so bad. Nice hookshot from Bulba. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to get a glimpse right back out, and he just can't get the kill in time. Oh, but Susie will. Easy pick up for your level 10. He's almost 11. I, I actually thought that was going to be level 2 ultimate with how much damage it did. And he's almost got the bloodstone. Looks like Fun's going to bring up some allies. F4L. <laughs> Looks like they're just going to get back. And... Uh, I think they're just going to back. Mason. A thousand gold away from that Ag Scepter. Uh, Trav has a GB though, so he'll escape. And Exist. What's he going for? He gets the drums. I, I think I like that. I've been playing some PL lately. And it's a hard hero um, right now. I find the build 
I still haven't found the build. I watch a lot of games, and a lot of players are trying different stuff. And of course, all heroes are build dependent, depending on the game you're in. But I feel like this hero, we just haven't quite figured out what to do. I know you need Diffusal Blade, but some games we're seeing Yasha and Manta, um, like, finished before. Um, whereas some games you'll see the Yasha, uh, you'll see a Vlad sometimes, sometimes you'll see no Vlads. Um, I feel like Life Seal is so important when you're farming, but it's not going to go for it. We'll see how that works out. I I'd like to know. Show Bald Head or Riot. Hey, man. It's shade, okay? It's not bald. Get it right. I know it's it's getting a little bit longer now. I'll be I'll be back up soon. And the rating side, I'm gonna smoke up, and looks like Fun might be the victim of this. If he's on the right side of the trees, he might survive. Oh, Egypt's to the right. Nice. Oh my God, he just gets stopped in time. He's not gonna take any right click damage. However, he gets glimpsed right back, and RTZ tries to steal the kill with the pounds, but it looks like Trout's just gonna commit the finger of death and ensure they get the kill. I'll be bald eventually, though. My dad's bald, so you can look forward to that in the future. Oh, really? You just started playing like a month ago? Oh, geez. Feel free to spam all the questions you want, honestly. That That is no problem whatsoever. I, I like teaching people about all this stuff. Uh, I have some friends that just started recently as well, so we're trying to get him into it, so he has a lot of the same questions. And uh, we'll see what Arteezy goes for next. I don't know if he'll go for the Shadow Blade. Um, possibly the Blink Dagger. That's fallen off a lot, though. Most of the time, we're seeing Shadow Blades. Uh, it's just such a good item on the hero. It gives you the regen because people can't see you uh, if you're within, uh, not within vision. And I, I think that's what it'll be. That seems like an Arteezy item. Those pings are coming out from Bulba. Let's say he knows. That's, that's his vision right there. So he's the hookshot ready. Not sure what he wants to do. The illusion's in the way. I don't know if he wants to hook into this. There are a lot of heroes. And the dire side will just back. Total vision. Radiant have a nice little warden here. It's giving some good idea of what the dire is up to. It's spawning people like Balba rotating. So with Balba heading down that way, they can feel safe to pressure this tower. And they'll probably look to get a, a ward in here. Give them some vision. Uh, which is exactly where Exist is. Who is possibly getting Yasha. Could be the Diffusal Blade. I have a feeling it's going to be a Yasha to stack on top of the drums, but I think the Diffusal Blade could be good here too. Man, again, fun. These uh, blinding lights are so good. Actually stops our TZ mid-pounce. And they'll be able to clean up this tower. And we'll see if Bulba has anything to say about it. There's the flare. This might uh, frighten them. Oh my god, our TZ is in trouble here. He's got the Shadow Dance off. Bulba. Oh, not able to hit it. There's another pounce available. Our TZ, he's going to get in the trees. Instantly cuts that tree with his Quelling Blade. Did you see that? Anyway, they're going to be able to get FRL using the uh, Glimpse, and man, that was a nice play by Arteezy. That was like instant land Quelling Blade. And... Radiant? Tower's really low. Can they deny it? They can. So, they'll just get back. Arteezy has purchased something. We'll check that in a second, make sure he's not going to kill somebody. Another Glimpse back. This hero. It's so good when people are in... Oh wow, just instantly suicides. <laughs> Uh, so that's the Bloodstone laying you suicide, obviously. And we'll see. Looks like Fun's gonna be a victim here. The whole dire side, like, they tried to retreat, but this whole ball of death is just running from the Radiant. And I don't think they'll be able to find Exist. There isn't another Glimpse available, though, if they can get Vision of Bulba at all. No. Casual Spirit Lance, but Mason will dodge that. Some sort of... Oh, great. It would appear they're doing fire drill testing. So I'm gonna have to mute myself while that's going. Fallen. 
Okay, it would appear it has stopped. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Bubble's gonna hook right on the juice. And he does have the tombstone? He does not have the tombstone. Oh, he does. He pops right on top of himself. I couldn't even see it. But he goes down instead, and guess what? He's dead now. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, it would appear that the uh, uh, the apartment building I am currently in was testing the fire alarm system, and that is incredibly annoying. But we are back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ten days from now, that will not be an issue, as I will be in my fully furnished basement, uh, casting away from the house that we just bought. So I'm very excited for that. Hashtag esports. And uh, our TC went for the drums. And by the way, we were talking about Mason earlier, and I just noticed this. He was 500 gold away from the eggs, and he went right back for a Midas. And I see Mason get a lot of Midases. But now it seems to have paid off because he's 22 minutes in and he has eggs Midas. And that is just going to allow him to completely propel uh, and catapult himself into the late game. Look at the range of this blast. Wow, that was calculated. Barely hit that creep. Bubble. Gonna run into Arteezy. Oh, nice Ancient Seal. They need to burst him down as fast as they can. He actually doesn't get stuck inside because he didn't er instantly uh, hook, but they'll still get the damage. And FRL just stacking on the in sticks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that does boost up your Arcane Bolt, so they're probably looking for things like a 4 Staff, uh, an Atos, and a Yule, so he's just looking to jack up his damage before he moves into them. Point Pounce is such a weird skill since it's based on positional. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, it is a weird skill. There's not that many in this game like that. There's like Marana Leap. Um, it's the same thing. Uh, the smoke's gonna happen. Now, when that happens, uh, it shows the the area. So, you you know where they are. You just can't, you can't physically see the hero, so you wouldn't be able to target them with things like a sniper. Uh, but you actually see the area light up. So, you know where they are. You just know they're smoked, and that's why they're gonna back. So, you'll see a lot of scout scouting ultis from Zeus. For that exact reason, especially in the higher tiers. And it is going to be the Diffusal Blade out for Exist, so that is going to greatly increase his DPS in team fights. And uh, Bulba with the really nice build going on right now, actually. In terms of net worth, he's pretty high up there. Third on his team, fourth in the game. Uh, fight might break out here. Really good game to be against a Blade Mail. Um, very good against your Queen of Pain, very good against your Sark. I think Clockwork really shot back up because of the popularity we were seeing from Gyrocopter. Um, he's a number one counter to Gyro. You hook on, you pop a blade mail, Gyro dies. Trough is in the wrong. He's in a bad place right now. Fortunately, this war not going to spot them on the high ground. Trough will get instantly bursted down by the combo, boys. Mystic Flare, too good. Look at the range on that. Easy. You can drop that thing everywhere. Arteezy going right for the BKB. Just wants to live through these fights and deal a bunch of damage. Wow, Susie down to three Bloodstone charges. That is not ideal. So the Dire might look to group up and get that back uh, up to somewhere closer to the default of eight. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with some stuff here. Well, nothing's happening. <laughs> and let's see. Is Trough gonna get caught out here? It's a rate the dire vision. Oh, he has no idea. He's right next to him. Uh, Bulba now is gonna be able to blow up Trough. He'll die. The Sonic Wave gets off first, so FRL's in trouble. He will drop the Thunder Shock as well. Now the, so the Static Storm. Uh, Mason's gonna blink out. I don't know if they can fish off Bulba. Juice is nearby. He could drop the Tombstone and try and slow them down. He's gonna glimpse him right back. Arteezy's here as well. Pounces onto nothing, trying to get the high ground, but I think he missed it. And he won't be able to uh, stun up Susie as he's nothing available for that. Exist has the Diffusal Blade, so we'll look to see him blow up any of the supports that he catches alone. Uh, this game, here is that you really want to burn the mana down. I mean, obviously Queen of Pain, if you can get her down to below 60, you might be able to kill her, but that's going to be pretty difficult. Lion is just going to be so sad. Not the biggest mana pool, high mana costs, and you can't exactly life drain. Like this right now, man, okay, he could just kill him. Uh, of course, there's going to be TP in here from Mason, so he'll be alright. And this tier 1 bot will be dropping. 
TP coming in from Exist. Let's see, he wants to try and fight this. Here comes the Spirit Lance. Oh, but the glimpse. Crit is here. He's also building himself up a nice little Glimmer Cape. Wait, how did Exist. Oh, he got instantly recalled? Okay. That was really well played. Or did he doppel walk? I think he just doppel walked the glimpse. Um, you can dodge it really easily. So that's exactly what happened. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, it's one of the best, one of the only things in the game can actually stop a glimpse. Uh, there's BKB, there's the doppel walk, or doppelganger, and then there's the uh, uh, Manta style. You can, but it takes really precise timing. It's not exactly a direct counter. You have to be pretty much bang on. No runes. No one taking Roche this game. Not really two roaching lineups. Um, the, the Radiant's much better at holding it, I would say, just from dropping that tombstone up on the high ground. Now they're all smoked up here. They're coming up in behind Bulba. He's in trouble. He has the hookshot for escape, though, if he needs it. And although Artizi's fast, he's moving at hasted speeds, actually. And there's the glimpse, providing that vision. And he's trying to get on Hex, but see them surrounding him? That, that's his very, really nice job by the Radiant. Very, really nice job. That, that was that was great. Um, Efro is going to TB out! Into oh my god, they don't see him! Or maybe they did. Actually, they totally saw him, but uh, the stuns were on cooldown. I assume that's what it was. But um, when they caught a bubble like that, you could see them surrounding him in a circle. Because that way he can't hookshot out. Um, especially now that you can hit neutrals. So he actually could have hookshot to the Ancients. But um, Crit did a really good job. And he was directly in between him and the Ancients the whole time. So that was nicely played. Uh, Exist. 1600 gold. Probably... Uh, probably just going to go for the Manta style next, I imagine. Mason actually goes for the Mjolnir, or sorry, the Maelstrom. A little bit of right-click build, and that's going to allow him to clean up FRL instantly. And Susie's actually going to have to just TP home. Earth Spike, not in time. Uh, Trout goes to the play, but unfortunately he was just a bit too far away in order to get that done. And Exist will pressure the tower, and they have a Glyph if they want to save it, but I doubt they'll use it, and they won't. Down it goes, and the Radiant will continue to try and push their own Assault on the Tier 2 tower. Well, I was right, actually. Looks like Mason's going to go for the Mjolnir. Interesting tombstone placement. We can also uh, place it up here too. So, uh, oh, but is that you literally can't get to this? Oh, you have to cut the tree. That's really interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. RTZ forced to shadow walk here. Not in too much danger. Hookshot's available. Oh, the creep though. Bulba looks like he needs to use a force staff there to better position himself. And uh, he'll be looking towards that eggs. We see Bulba make what? RTZ went bot. Exist gets a double kill? Hello? Is he gonna go for more? Trauf, he's thinking about it. Oh, now Mason's here though. Oh, the Sonic Wave! It hits all the illusions! And, but Trauf's here. There's no mana! <laughs> but he gets the kill, which is with the right clicks before he can escape. That was pretty close. This game is out of control. I thought RTZ TP'd home, but he actually TP'd to the top lane and gets blown up by Exist. Uh, Atos is now done here for F4L and. Wait, what? Oh, right. I was being an idiot. I completely forgot that the double... For some reason, I was thinking it was two bit boosters. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, I mean, we always see the Atos on the Skywrath Mage, but... Easy. Uh, Mjolnir now finished. Not not usually the item you see, uh, especially against such a high magic team, but they're snowballing so hard. FBL has been something else the past few days, I gotta say. There have been some pretty wild games. Especially, like, all those ones on Fluff's channel. <laughs> Disaster. Alright, TZ's spotting out this ward here, so they'll be able to take this down. As they drop the sentry. Um, in case you're wondering, Shadow Walk Pads, have, it gives you regen uh, when uh, people can't see you. And so, basically, it also tells you. So he says, oh, I'm regening right now, which means they can't see me. And then when it goes away, you know, oh, they can see me. And if there's no hero, then you know there's a ward there. Unless you're by creep, of course. Susie will TP home, get his mana back. Still sitting on those three charges. Really hoping to get those up now. Uh, Blink Dagger, it looks like he's going in for... Okay, yeah, he just dropped his bullets on that. It scared me for a second there. Uh, so he's going back for an Octarine Core. Um, it could be the Ags. Actually, it probably is the eggs. Usually we see Bloodstone into Refresher and not eggs, but um, I guess it's going to be the eggs this time. I, Octarine Core is pretty good, but I don't know if it's good this game. It does let you spam the Lightning Trout. 
a drop RTZ. Oh no, fun is dead. Nice glimpse there from crit, and RTZ is actually hasted, so there's basically no escape here. Now, of course, I believe that will, yeah, not get purged off, so you can dare pack yourself and not lose the runes. Oops. Just gonna make sure before I said anything, but it'll easily get cleaned up there. 1600 gold away from the eggs for Bubba. This is an item that we've seen Bubba get before and completely take over games. I mean, this guy, he's obviously insane on the clockwork, we all know it. Uh, but the way that you can get off so many hook shots, and it just means that if you do win a fight, like if you take a, a quick pick off and your team starts chasing down the rest of the heroes, they're all dead. Because that's what Clockwork's best at uh, once he does have the Agnum Scepter. In this case, it's going to be a base defense. And RTZ with the BKB has uh, nine charges, or uh, nine seconds left on uh, the second charge. Juice drops Tombstone pretty early. Really zoning at this dark side, but now there's not going to be a tombstone back here if they want to take a fight. And Mason's going to TP back for Exist, and Exist actually gets it in time thanks to that recall. Bulba with a huge hook shot on the Juice. Trap comes in with the Hex. There's the ultimate from your Zeus, and looks like the Radiant are actually coming back with no Mason trying to fight this. Exist is also TP back to the bottom lane as well. And now Bulba, he's in trouble. The Finger of Death, can they save him? He's getting so low. Arteezy will drop him as well. Exist is now back on the top lane. He's everywhere. Mason is not here though. Can they get any more chase? The rest of the dire side just not coming in for this. Susie not blinking forward. I'm surprised. I thought they were going deeper with Mason or with the uh, Bulba, but he was kind of hung out to dry. Looks like they weren't able to position themselves in time, and they'll have to use another thunder well, Take care of that. And, uh, with the whole radiant side up, I wonder is now the time to move for Roche. F4L, passing in front of that Radiant Ward, he's just instantly dead to Arteezy who's nearby. He'll put the Atos and hope that the leash will break in time, but he'll just drop. Arteezy even popping the Shadow Dance. Maybe scared that some allies were nearby, but... So, that will allow them to get rid of this ward, so Susie seeing what just happened and knowing that there must be a ward here. And that will drop. Exist, he's going into a Scotty actually, so he's really looking to tank up on HP. Um, HP, the number one thing you want to get when you're up against Queen of Pain. Just all this magic damage. But it's Mason going for an interesting build. It's kind of like dual damage types here, because he's got all this physical damage um, by upping his attack. But of course, it's just more magical damage because of the Chain Lightning. So um, magic is the one you want to be dealing with. And when you're dealing with magic, you just want raw HP. And Scotty provides that, as well as some attack bonuses. So a good build here. And is this Glimmer Cape done for Juice? Uh, he went for the pipe, so he didn't go for the Glimmer Cape. Man, that pipe is going to be devastating. So much of their damage is magic. I mean, basically, all of Bulba's damage, all of Fun's, all of Susie's, and all of FRL's damage is complete magical. Uh, so this pipe could be huge if he gets it off on all five during a crucial moment of the team fight. And... I'm still saving up here for him, Susie. Not sure what he wants. There's going to be a recall here. They're going to bring Exist over, looking to take a fight, and they're going to find it. Arteezy going after Curry. He actually one-shots it, but there was nothing on it. And now, the Static Storm dropped from Crit. Exist is stuck inside. He's going to go down here. He drops, and now Mason with a DD looking to get something done. Unfortunately, it looks like they will escape. Arteezy's in here as well, though. Just going to town. Gets Arteezy, or er, F4L. And that's an easy double. And looks like they're going to look to pressure the bottom. Exist, no buyback. Oh my god, Arteezy just going in. They're going to glimpse him back. Arteezy with the slows. Not, not able to get a maim. Oh, a finger of death. <laughs> it's not going to bring him down. The rating side all pipes up, though. Uh, it will wear off now. Trout just going in again. Gets the hex off on the bubble. The earth spike. Mason here. The sonic wave is ready. It's been committed. Bubba finally pops that blade mail. Must have been on cooldown. Hooks back into Mason. Gets the pushback as well. Will he survive here? He actually burns enough mana to stop the blink. But Mason, he's going to die here. Sick plays by Bulba Juice. He's still about half HP. Can Susie clean this up? There, drop the ultimate. They're all so low. The pipe, the aura doing a lot of work. There's a blade mail available as well. Susie coming in. He can't get the kill though. Arteezy's turning on the right clicks. Now, if FRL's back though, he drops the Mystic Flare. It's not going to be able to bring down Arteezy in time. Can he get away in time? And, uh, the kinetic field is going to trap them both inside. Fun. Trapped as well. They go down. Everyone on the dire side is dead. And somehow, the Radiant all survive. The mech, it's available in 17 seconds. There's going to be a TP in from Exist. He's looking to clean up everybody here. He double walks ahead. He actually pops some trees. He's going to find Arteezy. Oh, Arteezy gets to the low ground, though. He's actually stuck inside the trees. He's a Quilling Blade if he wants to get out. Exist, none available. He'll double walk into these trees to find Arteezy, and he will. 
Right, he's, he's, he's trying to regen him. He's not just He's out of mana. He's going to BKB. Try and get to the... <laughs> he's just going to get this Rax. Can he get it in time? Oh, he can! What a player. Arteezy finding something from which there was nothing. Actually buys the Shadow Blade before he dies and loses nothing. That was so well played. I think a lot of people would have tried to escape to the south, but uh, he gets a very nice pick off at the end there. And kind of makes that whole engagement totally worth it. Uh, but, I mean, of course, they still came out on top on kills, but getting that Rax is much easier uh, in any game against a PL. And you want to keep this pressure. And the biggest thing is that that's going to reduce the incoming gold income. Because now, um, when these Radiant creeps are spawning, you get your super melee creeps. And not only are they better, do more damage, but uh, they provide much less gold. That was, that was pretty epic, I gotta say. Let's look at the Dire. Might position for a rush. They're pinging it. I gotta say, Mason is pretty freaking scary right now. If he picks up... Oh, he has BKB. It's finished now, so 10 second charge ready. I'm <laughs> just gonna say it's gonna be terrifying. He is terrifying already. Trap, he's gonna blink in. Gets a nice Earth Spike onto Susie. He can hex when he wants to, and they're actually just gonna commit the Static Storm, so he will drop. What will the rest of the Dire side do, though? Crit, four staffing ahead, has a glimpse again, this guy, I tell you. Oh, can I kill? Not able to get off in time because Bubbles hookshot. Oh my god. Flare, uh, the four staff right into a hookshot. Mason, BKB is up. He's still getting gone on here by the PL. He's taking a lot of damage. The pipe has finally popped. Exist. Mystic Flare is ready from F4L. He's still looking to turn it, but there is a pipe and a glimmer cape uh, being slapped on here from somebody. I'm not sure. I think Crit. Oh, Crit's Glimmer Caping up Juice here. Exist going back in the Sonic Wave. He's gonna hit him. He's so low. He's gonna have to Doppelganger. He's gonna retreat in the base bubble. Hookshot's back in. The Mystic Flare will finish him off in time. Uh, Juice now low as well. The Ancient Seal. Bulba, he's chasing this Hookshot. This is exactly what we talked about. He's looking for it. He needs another Flare. Can he spot Crit? There's no vision of him. Oh, it's a little bit too late. Bulba hits it easy. Now the Cog pushback to the rest of the team. And Trough? Yep, he goes down. Nice to play Bulba. Easy Dotka. This hookshot, man. You just take one person down in the fight, and it's just back in, back in action. Just chase the rest of the team down as they're trying to escape. And we saw it was so close to Mason surviving there. Uh, he was so low inside the cogs, and I believe it was Trauf who four-staffed Mason out of the cogs, but unfortunately the burn was just enough to bring him down. And they're going to pick up their own Roche here, so they could look to put this on Exist, I would imagine. Uh, possibly Susie, but I think it'll be Exist. Just drop his TP scroll for it. Not the fastest roasting team, so this is why we haven't seen him taken earlier. Just taking their speed all time. There's not really any medallion uh, pickers here or anything. <laughs> thinking about going for a solo with the Static Storm, I imagine. He is level 14. He might be able to do it, but he's not going to commit it. Arteezy's in the top lane. There's going to be some TPs back. They know exactly where he's going. Oh, maybe they don't. I thought that the tier 3 was down in the middle, to be honest, and I thought he was going for the racks, and I thought that's what they were countering, but... There's the Aegis picked up, and they'll just TP Oh, they leave the Ring of Aquila, though. So, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, of course, he had to TP out, so... Oh, no he didn't. Huh. I guess deciding that the uh, TP is more important than the Ring of Aquila right now, as he is going to look to go right back in the lane and farm. So we talked about this earlier, about how he has no HP regen, uh, or no... Uh, Lifesteal, and so far it's working out pretty well. I don't think Lifesteal would save him in any of these fights. Now, of course, it's nice when you're farming to keep your HP up, and he'll be forced to TP home because of it, but perhaps it's because of the mobility provided by Keeper Light. As we do see Hookshot in from Bulba, but he's actually just going to leave right away. Trout blinks in with the Hex, and now the Glimpse right back. Actually, bring him right over to Arteezy. Nicely played, but there's a four staff to save his life. That was fun. Nicely played. Perfectly positioned to get back on the high ground. Dire side. They have no vision there. Bubba just gets it off the tail end of that fl uh, flare. And the tombstone's going to be dropped, trying to dissuade them. The illusions will blow it up instantly, though. Exist. Thinking about chasing Bulba. What do we got again? Here's the range. Well, who's he going to hit? Oh, he gets him! Are you serious? Glimpse right back, though. Now exists. Glimmer caped up from crit. Arteezy's thinking about going back in here. Juice is going to TP out. Arteezy ancient sealed up the Mystic Flare as well. He's going to drop here. Down he goes, 80 seconds. He has the buyback if he wants it. Meanwhile, Mason's in the mid lane. Taking down this tower. Here comes F4L. Ancient Seal on cooldown from killing Arteezy. Bulba misses the hook shot. Dude, this guy's been throwing out so many hooks. Oh, he sees Mason, though. He'll think about it. Oh, maybe he's going to be a little upset that he got recalled there. And not that he could have killed Mason on his own. And Mason will just look to push in this bottom lane. 
All right, we're picking back up. The dire side pulled themselves out of a hole. Uh, there's about 7.5k deep. Bringing this game back closer to even. The Agnum Scepter is now up on fun. So during all of the daytime, uh, he gets. You see this massive vision? This is over all trees. Once you have the Agnum Scepter on Keeper of the Light, it's disgusting. It also means that he's permanently in his Keeper of the Light form, um, the ultimate, the spirit form. So it improves uh, his Q. It also gives him two more abilities, allowing him to recall allies and uh, blind everyone in the giant area. Probably one of the best Agnum's upgrades in the game. Um, people will typically say the ancient. I, have to, I think I agree. Ancient apparitions is the best. Um, I can't think. Maybe the ODs now rivals it. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, 40 minutes in, it is pretty close. Oh my god, Bubble just barely doesn't get the hook shot off. We've actually been seeing some crazy games um, this patch where... Um, yes, the value for die, that is true. Um, losing a lot of gold on this bottom lane. Uh, but we've been seeing a lot of games, like in professional matches and stuff that I'm in, we've had zero gold differences at, uh, at 40 minutes. And that's just unheard of. Like, that's not something we'd see. Uh, very often, especially after last patch. So we're, um, Knoxville and I have been talking about trying to find like a swing metric, um, which would be a really cool stat where you could measure like 5k swings, like how many times they happen in the game, games with the most swings. Uh, so we're looking into it. Uh, hopefully we can get something done in the API that could like, when, when this happens, have that marked. I think that'd be really cool. Or even when this happens, when it drops. Um, so we'll see. I think that'd be really neat. Well, hopefully that happens. And you can also see, look at that, exist dropping the Iscotti, reduces HP pool so that the heal will uh, happen from the Illuminate. That's also an Agnum's upgrade, um, where the heal will drop in from the Illuminate. Oh, just barely misses. Arteezy moving at 4, what is it, 522 move speed when he Shadow Blades. Unbelievable. So very hard for Bubble to hit that hookshot. Essentially, just a guessing game. Oh, he actually hits it on the RTZ. My mistake. Oh, I don't know if that's what he wanted to do. A lot of fights breaking out here. The Ancient Seal's on RTZ, but he's gonna BKB it off. And now FRL's trapped inside the cogs with him. Trow, he's gonna be able to Earth Spike Exist. Has the Hex almost available. He is a finger of death as well. If they want to try to figure out Exist, can he figure out the, the right one? He won't even need it. The Aegis is down. Meanwhile, on the backside, Mason's running with the Sonic Wave, and he's gonna clean up Bulba. And they're also going to get fun. This game standing so out of the control. Exists. He's back up and alive. The Hex from Trout. He's controlling Exists so well right now. Earth Spike in six seconds. Doppel walk. He's trying to escape to the top. And there's the pounce. Doppelganger. Man, I got to fix that. Now, the glimpse back here from Crit. Going to bring over Susie. Susie, stuck in the kinetic field. He's going to go down to an Earth Spike in just a moment here. Being mana drained. And he is down. I need to mute my... There we go. Easy. Looks like it's gonna be rough for the radiant. Never mind, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. When you're trying to make a comeback, one misstep is just so devastating. And the radiant side will pull ahead again. Wow, that is a big swing. Right back up to head of where they were. And Bulba actually hookshotting in here. Looks like he's gonna separate this very nicely. The two supports were trapped in the base, but they'll just force that themselves out. And RTZ pops to BKB, Bulba dropping low to the Sonic Wave. Exist, he's here as well. Mason, glimpse back from crit. This guy's been doing work here. Exist is in trouble. He's gonna man up though, and they're gonna get RTZ. He has buyback if they need it, but uh, I don't think it's gonna get him back in this fight in time. Fun, looking to chase down crit. He's in the middle of a tombstone though, so this could get very dangerous. Try and force that way. Bubbles here as well, hookshot in one second. Might be able to catch Mason. Sonic Wave has already been committed. 16 more seconds, but he won up the mana for it. Now the BKB, though, for Mason and this Static Storm is blowing up Bulba. Exists low as well. He actually goes in. He's going to die here. He has no buyback. That's the game. FRL drops as well. Susie, though, able to pick up Mason. Maybe they'll dissuade them enough. I think if Mason lives there, that's another Rax, but Susie able to blow him up. <laughs> New game hosted. This game's not over yet, folks. But it looks like Demon's trying to get one ready. He knows this game's ending soon. He wants to make sure he's in the next one. And, uh... The pipe here. These, these two supports still just chilling here. And Ephraim's actually back alive. And it looks like he might have enough control to bring him down. There's no detection, though, unfortunately. So they won't be able to get this kill. Connect field will just ensure Juice's GP. It's pretty nice, actually. Susie tries the lightning bolt, but he's actually gone. 
Looks like Trout's working on his own Glimmer Cave. The item of 6.84, just too good. And um, so for all you guys seeing Toto TV, if you you know weren't here earlier uh, and you're wondering, uh, my name's Mopax. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Mopax, twitch.tv slash Mopax, where I'll be streaming most FPL games that I can um, whenever they're available and I'm not at work or something. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So come over to the chat there if you want to see some nice people. We've got some people asking questions. If you want to ask any questions, I'm always open to it. I know quite a bit about Dota. I just had a lot of pro games and stuff, so builds and things like that. I'm no 6K player, though. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you're enjoying the cast. Uh, tweet at me or something. Let me know that you guys are actually even listening to Dota TV. Um, I know that when I used to watch, there was like 400 people. There's no casters. So I just messaged them. I was like, yo, I'll cast. Might as well. I find it more enjoyable. Mostly because I hate moving my own camera when I'm just trying to watch stuff, so hopefully the camera's not too bad either. And uh, we'll get right back into it though, as we get the Scotty and the Diffusal level 2. So it looks like Exist has used enough charge that he warrants it. And some more stats as well. Roshan up in one minute. This could be a big decider in this game actually. Uh, could be huge on Exist, giving him two lives. Maybe able to live through a static storm that way, as Crit has been on point with this and really been demolishing these fights actually. As Ephra would say, he's an actual ear. And the Radiant side, I think I would get, uh, I'd probably maybe onto a PZ. Uh, what's the difference between Mute and Break? Okay, it's like, oh uh, well, actually we might have a fight here. Um, uh, oh, that was so close. Okay, they're thinking about it. I think they're gonna back. Uh, break destroys. Oh my god, there's the Atos. They have the Thunderbolt as well. Trout actually gets four staff right back into them. I don't know who did that. That was really nicely played. Meanwhile, Bulba, he's gonna be hookshotting in the Juice. Juice is gonna pop the Tombstone. There's the Mana Leak on him, but he's not gonna be going anywhere. So that's not really gonna be doing too much. He's gonna pop the Flash Goal, and the Sonic Wave comes in. It's only gonna hit onto Illusions. Arteezy, he's in here deep. He's right in the middle of all of them. He's gonna Shadow Dance, try to keep himself alive. He might be able to pick off Arteezy. Or Arteezy, he might be able to pick off FRL rather. Uh, the Blinding Light, it's here for fun if he can drop it, but he can't stop. At Bulba, he's in here. Arteezy's BKB just going to town. No more Shadow Dance though, so he might be dropping here. Oh, he needs to be careful. They're both gonna die. <laughs> he, he will buy back instantly. He doesn't have the bots though, so he'll have to run his way back. Of course, he does move at like 522, so he'll be here right away. Alright, yeah, so exactly. So Liv already answered the question. Um, so break is for passive things like Bristleback is the most common one. Um, and that's what the Silver Edge will do. I don't know, does RTC have one this game? He did upgrade it. So Silver Edge will break things. Um, it should be the other way around. It actually drives me crazy. I don't know why items are muted and passives are broken. That really should be switched. Uh, as Mason, he's in here pretty deep. I think he'll get this kill though without dying. The Glimmer Cape, it just reduces that damage that you take so heavily. It's insane. Uh, it's a 60% or 55% magic resistance. And Mason will actually TP out just in time. The blank lightning bolt won't even be able to clean up crit here. Uh, but yeah, so, oh my god, seriously? Trap's coming in here. There's the earth spike as well. There'll be a pounce available and the dark pack just to burst down. So he actually gets the ultimate off in time. It won't clean up crit though, so close. Doesn't even hit the mana for Glimmer Cave. I don't know how it survived there. I guess just the native magic resistance of 20%. Nicely played. Blast! <laughs> just, just jukes it. Top racks go down. That's mega creeps. It's pretty much your GG. Um, Dire side will have a very time, uh, hard time holding from this. FRL's blown up. Fun. He'll be the next to drop as well. Bulba hook shotting. He misses it though. He'll force that into crit though. Trying to get a glory kill. Uh, Crit's gonna turn himself invisible. There's no detection here on Bulba, who actually is a Shadow Blade now. And uh, Mason, he's on top of him with the BKB. The Sonic Wave is gonna kill him. As we see on the right hand side there, Exist drops as well. That's GG. No one has buyback. It's all over. Glimmer makes Zeus and Necro so useless. Yes, yes, it does. It's a ridiculous item. GG, well played, Crit. I agree. Crit played very well. Arteezy, not happy. Come on, Arteezy. Don't be like that, man. And uh, we'll look to get into the next game here. 